The fight continues tonight over the life of a little girl. Two-year-old Miranda Grace remains on life support at VCU Medical Center since choking on a popcorn kernel nearly a month ago. Doctors want to perform a brain death test, but after a hearing last week, a judge gave the family 10 days to find a new hospital. Tomorrow, they're back in court again. Tonight, her father tells Brittany McDonald they're working to bring her home instead. Brittany joins us live outside VCU Medical Center. Brittany, has the family consulted with other hospitals? Well, every other local hospital, Sabrina has turned them down. So Miranda's father is working to bring her home to continue care there. He says that those arrangements are coming along, but they still need more time. We're trying to get her moved home. We didn't know that was an option until a couple days ago. Patrick Lawson's been at VCU Medical Center for nearly a month. His wife hasn't even left the room, both of them by the side of their two-year-old daughter, Miranda Grace, who remains on life support. We will never give up on our daughter. Refusing to let doctors perform a brain death test to see if she can breathe on her own, it's become a weeks-long court battle between the hospital and the family. Now Lawson's been given the task to find Miranda a new hospital, but he wants her home. That seems to be our only option to where we can get her good help and keep her alive. He says the family's already put together some of the resources they need. The life support, we do believe we have that all set up to where they'll have the ventilator there. We will have uh, two nurses with 12 hour shifts. And they have plans to pay for it. We have insurance. We have the means to pay after that what the insurance doesn't cover. But they're still in need of a doctor. We're looking for a doctor an intensive care doctor that's willing to at least see her one time and advise the nurses and be able to write her her prescriptions. The other local hospitals won't take Miranda and going out of state, Lawson says, isn't an option with their other kids waiting at home. We're set on taking her home. Um, Miranda's not my only child. We have three other children too. If she gets the proper care, she will stay and one day she will wake up. The next hearing is set for tomorrow afternoon. Lawson's lawyer tells me that the, it's the family's right to decide this. VCU Medical Center has said that they'll continue to abide by the court and provide Miranda superb care. We'll, of course, keep you updated on what happens tomorrow. But for now, on your side in Richmond, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.